Coachella Fit 2023. Welcome back to the vlog. It is officially Coachella 2023 weekend and I am staying home. I'm staying right here. I'm staying on the couch. As of right now, my FOMO is essentially non-existent. Like that's not to say that like I'm not gonna get paralyzing FOMO later on in the weekend, but currently as of right now, I feel really good about being at home. I've obviously always been a homebody. I feel like that's like a known fact at this point. Um, I'm just like not cut out for long hours in the desert drinking. We'll say I've always had fun at Coachella. I've always had periods of a lot of fun at Coachella, if that makes sense. But I'm really just not cut out for long ass days, baking in the sun, drinking. Maybe if I did drugs, my longevity would be stronger, which is not encouraging anyone to do drugs to extend their time being able to party, but I'm just not cut out for it. I'm not built for it. I get sick every single year. And in past years also too, I've had opportunities to work with brands. Obviously you're there to have fun, but it also makes it like a business opportunity and a work trip um, essentially. So there's always been that factor. I kind of this year was like, okay, well, if I get an opportunity to go to Coachella, maybe I'll go, but nothing came up. And as the days got closer to Coachella, I got more and more relieved that I would be not going and here I am. So anyways, this vlog is going to be everything that I'm doing this weekend that is not Coachella. The first thing that I wanna do is I just got a very large package of uh, basics. Maybe should have ordered more things that were like summer oriented, but I guess they're kind of like springish. There's definitely some sweaters because they were on sale. But I ordered some stuff from Princess Polly in just like a lot of neutral tones and like basic pieces because I feel like I've purged a lot of stuff from my closet lately and I'm like, Okay, what's left? So I ordered a few new basics, gonna try those on. They're all from Princess Polly. This is not a sponsored portion. My trick for Princess Polly and a lot of similar like e-commerce uh, fashion websites is if you just like type in any basic girl name, like Lauren, for example, and then put like a 10 or a 15 or a 20 behind it, a lot of the times you get a discount. I probably used like Megan 20 or Sarah 20. I tried to see if there was another Lauren doing a Princess Polly brand deal at this point. Um, but anyways, throw a basic girl name in there, add a 20 after it, and chances are you'll eventually hit a discount. So the first thing I got is this dress. In the last vlog, I talked about how I bought a supposed Amazon dupe. It was not a dupe. It was terrible quality and it didn't have any of the underwire in here and like I have no bra on right now and this looks quite nice. This looks quite nice. So anyways, this is the first dress that I got. Love it and I guess this one really does fall into like the spring summer category. I'm gonna aim for this try on to just be like rapid fire. Um, I think maybe return. This is not super flattering, I feel like, but I do really like the color, but I think I'm gonna return this one. This is definitely a keep. Uh, LA is randomly colder than Toronto, New York right now, which is a little wild. I'm gonna keep this one. I actually bought an Amazon dupe of this sweater in the past, and this one is much softer. Exchange, but keep. Gonna size up one, I think. Also, I've got like booby pedals on, Reddit relax. This is cute though. It's like lightweight and like a little beachy. I'm gonna go one size up. I think this is an extra small. I'm gonna get a small. Exchanging but sizing up. This one's so cute but it has zero stretch and my ability to breathe when this is zipped up is not great. I think return. I wish it had like one more tie here to like keep it tied up a little bit more. This is like a lot right here. I think I'm gonna return this one. I don't think this is flattering on me because this really does have the second tie that I was literally just asking for. Oh, but I love this material so much. Like, it's so cute. And this really is like very beachy and springy. But I, I think that I, my body is not compatible with this, with this style. I'm gonna just zoom this in a little bit because this one is a bodysuit. Um, how far can I go without? Okay, here we go. This one fits really well and it's so soft. Um, cute. This is like the exact kind of basic that I feel like I'm missing right now in my closet. Okay, and then this dress this is the last of it. This is really cute. I wanna just wear dresses with no bras all summer. That's the goal. That's really the goal. So it's got really cute lace detailing and it fits really well. I feel supported for what little I do have to support and it's cute. Fits well. Comfy. Okay. End of the haul.
Hello, good morning. I am en route to Target, my favorite place in the world. Um, I had a super busy first half of the week, and so I've allocated all of my errands to today. So I've got a jam-packed day. I'm totally kidding, I really have not that much of my calendar, and I'm so excited about it today. So Target, I've got a few things that I want to get. Um, but specifically, I've been influenced by this Doberman on TikTok who loves these little soft blankets that I think are gonna be in the kids section that have like this little stuffed animal head on the top of it. Moose loves blankets, loves blankets. Like would give an internal organ for a soft blanket. Diggy not so much, so I'm only gonna be getting one because Diggy like actually actively does not enjoy being under a blanket. Um, but I've been influenced by TikTok, so I wanna go see if they have any of those in stock at my Target. Um, and then I've got uh, Caleb, the fitness marshal, Cameron, and our other friend Dan coming over tonight for the RuPaul Drag Race finale, which I am so excited for. So I also am gonna go pick up um, some snacks, some drinks, and some stuff for a charcuterie board tonight um, so that we are well stocked for the finale tonight. RuPaul predictions. I This will probably come out after the finale. Well, obviously this will come out after the finale if I'm watching it tonight. Um, I want Anitra to win personally, but I think that Sasha Colby is going to win and then I think Anitra is going to go on to All Stars and probably win All Stars. And then, okay, I think Sasha Colby first, Anitra second, because like watching them do a lip sync would be insane together. And then I think it will be Lux and then Mistress. A mistress and then Lux. I feel like I'm not set on third and fourth place, but that's my prediction for today. I just want to put this on record that I'm leaving empty handed, but they do have a little snow cone squishmallow. It's so cute. I've never seen this one before. There's also the giant pancakes, which are also adorable. So I just want to put this on record leaving empty-handed oh my god i found them they're so cute <laughs> they're so cute i feel like the dinosaur is just like an absolute look at his little teeth those are so cute there's also a little leopard he's cute there's um it says a what is this is this a stegosaurus no no a triceratops triceratops right i think um this is cute too but i just feel like he's so happy this one's so cute and then there's unicorn which is not speaking to me whatsoever so i think that this is i think we have a winner it's so cute oh my god what is, what is this what is this oh adorable absolutely adorable a problem <laughs> i'm at ralph's now oh my god oh this is this fuzzy freaking basketball won't stop falling uh this is a neapolitan ice cream sandwich and it's the cutest thing i've ever seen oh no drag race finale is about to commence also Woo. i've <laughs> Woo, babe with enthusiasm what um, I forgot to check in on my Coachella FOMO rating. I will say it was higher than yesterday. Um, the only part that I realized that I actually have FOMO over though is doing like a fun hair and makeup thing. It's looking very windy at night um, and I'm very excited to be right there watching the finale. I also just started my period today and typically I have like a little bit of cramping and it's usually not too bad like very much bearable but today she's like a pounding headache that i cannot shake and how do you fix a pounding period headache with crumble and dairy and alcohol <laughs> so i had my target trip um i actually made a tiktok it's like a rapid rapid fire haul of everything that i got when i was at target um got the groceries and i just put together my little basic charcuterie some grapes and crumble let me read you the flavors okay we've got classic chocolate chip we've got cookie butter lava on the bottom right uh chocolate peanut butter oreo back middle cinnamon roll back right strawberry cheesecake i actually got a second 
one of these so that I can eat another one tomorrow. Classic pink sugar cookie and charcuterie. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> it's so cute. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, here we go. Charcuterie. Ah. Also, I was just straight up reading off the app here because these just look. Oh. Hello, good morning. It is Saturday morning. Jeremy's still sleeping, so I'm going to keep my voice down. Um, I am headed to the gym. I have taken quite a long break um, from the gym. I feel like I've just been kind of feeling shitty about my body, and it's been making me not want to go to the gym which is so like counterintuitive but like just like the idea of putting on really form-fitting clothes right now has not been my favorite i feel like i'm probably not the only one who's felt like this um so please let me know but today i am finally mustering up the willpower to go on a saturday morning the gym that i go to is typically not very like filming friendly um so i probably can't film any of my workout today but i will show you what's in my gym bag i feel like i've never done this before um this is the bag that i bring every day I feel like I should probably get something a little bit better, but it's just, uh, it's a bag that I got from um, Babe Rose at some point in PR. And so it says, uh, the official wine of questionable decisions. And this is the bag that I show up to, to do my fitness. <laughs> And then I almost always bring a Celsius or Nalani New. This is the one that I got from Target yesterday. The mimosa flavor is my absolute fave. Um, I've got AirPods and also the biggest hack, like life-changing thing ever with my AirPods. Um, I think it's only the newest version of them have this little, uh, uh, have this little, there we go have this little um tab here where you can thread in like an iphone wrist strap it's literally life-changing to fish airpods out of purses and bags and everything oh my god so airpods obviously and then my lifting gloves because i got little bitch hands and um i feel like it really affects the ability to like i feel like i can lift less when i don't have any kind of gloves on because my hands are so weak and honestly i have no interest in making them any like rougher um because i kind of enjoy having little bitch hands so anyways these are the lifting gloves that i wear when i lift weights um i can link them in the description they're uh harbinger 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 and they're i think they're really cheap and they are literally a game changer and then these personally I think are the best gym shoes not for cardio I don't I really am not doing any cardio right now um, they are Nike blazers but blazers like regular ones take for fucking ever to lace up and no one has the time for that to get like in and out of them is such a workout in itself these ones have this stretchy back here and it is literally the best thing ever the best thing ever and it's kind of got like a mega swoosh why do these look so small i have small feet but these look like little baby shoes right now so anyways um these person i mean they're they're so beat up and busted right now um but these are my favorite gym shoes i've tried so many different ones i feel like and i just ordered a second pair just in case they like randomly get super popular and sell out so i have a backup pair when these ones are no longer good or lose their tread they're just like dirty right now like they're totally fine i've had these for probably over a year um but hands down my favorite gym shoe ever highly highly recommend um okay i'm gonna do a pull arm day so all of my pulling motions so uh pull-ups chin-ups this um a row bicep curls and that's gonna be my workout for today back from the gym i and like i know that i always feel better as soon as i get home and like after i finish a workout and i it just you know you like you forget you forget but anyways home from the gym i had a great workout feel so good afterwards 
Um, and now I've got some friends coming over to watch the Creator Clash uh, boxing YouTuber fight this afternoon. And then for sure gonna be watching the Blackpink live stream tonight at Coachella. Cannot wait, love that I'm watching it from the couch as well too. So I just got a package. I'm so, okay, so in a week and a half, I'm going to New York. I have been having to keep this freaking secret for two months now, I bought an outfit for this New York trip specifically for this one thing that I'm dying, I'm dying. I'm literally exploding and I cannot wait to be able to talk about it properly. And I vlogged the entire day, so I'll be able to like show all the behind the scenes, but they make you keep so many secrets and it drives me absolutely insane. But what I can show you is what I'm gonna wear to the event that I'm going to, to celebrate the thing that happened. I totally understand that I wanna strangle every single YouTuber that's ever said something similar, and I totally understand. Um, but I wanna show the outfit because it's very cute. And I also ordered um, some other shoes. I feel like I haven't bought um, like, choose in a while and I want to do a purge um so there'll be more stuff on Poshmark um okay so the dress that I picked out is this one it's from uh for love and lemons and it is so freaking cute I got this in an extra small and I also ordered a small that actually should be coming today I think I might be a little more comfortable in a small so anyways I'm gonna return whichever one um you know doesn't fit as well this is what it looks like. It's very, very cute. It's got like such a cute little flare skirt, um, but so fitted around the waist. And then here's the top. It's like a really pretty tweed with, tweed, is this tweed? I don't really know, let me know. But the straps are these gold chains and then in the back, it does up like a bra at the top um, with these little bows on the back and then just a zipper with a little bit of an open back. Super cute. So this is what I'm wearing to the event and I got a few different options for earrings. I'm realizing now that these don't, ah, they kind of match. So these are the first ones. These are also, I'm not like a fun earring kind of girly and I was like, this is the time. This is the time that I might be a fun earring girly. So we'll see what this looks like together. Oh, that's actually pretty cute. Yeah, I don't hate that. Okay, so I got these ones and then I also got these like big hoops with little um, diamonds on the sides, also cute. And then these ones are more for like every day, not like every day, but like a little bit of an elevated everyday hoop, very cute. Oh, this is all from Revolve. Uh, starting with the jewelry and the shoes are all revolve things so I can leave everything linked down below the dress was directly off of the for love and Levitt's website okay and then shoes I got four pairs I'm not entirely sure if I'm gonna keep all of them um, but these are the shoes that I want to wear with the dress I think they are Steve Madden they're so comfortable I also don't have a chunky platform in like an off-white cream color so this and this Yes, very cute. Oh, I'm so excited. And then I got these ones. These are Jeffrey Campbell. They've got um, just like pearl detailing across the top. Love these, so comfy. They're like a very manageable heel height. Um, so very cute. Not a kitten, but a manageable heel height. These ones are from Super Down, um, which I love as a brand. These are much higher, but they're so cute. Mm. I just know, I just know that these are gonna hurt my feet so bad, but they're so cute. So I'm on the fence with potentially returning these ones because like, look how fun the back of this heel is. I hate that like we have to be weird about feet stuff and trying things on so things don't, like it's so weird that we have to be weird about like trying on shoes and having feet on camera, it's so weird. Um, so anyways, I'll leave them linked if you wanna see what they look like on the feet of the model. Um, and then the last pair I got are just these chunky black platforms. These are Tony Bianco, Australia. Super comfy and I feel like will be a good spring summer staple. I don't really wear a ton of sandals. So I was like, what's the in-between of a sneaker and a heel that's like not a flat? I don't know. Also, I saw a pair of gladiator style sandals in some of the Coachella fashion pics and I cannot believe gladiator sandals are potentially back. Anyways, that's the haul. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to wear this dress. It's so annoying that I can't tell you the secret yet. It's so annoying and I know that I'm being so annoying and I'm so sorry, truly.
The vibes of the watch party are excellent. The pizza has arrived. Michelle dominated. Moose wants pizza. Good morning from me and my new car tripod mount. Um, based on how much my little microphone poof has been shaking when the car is going, I'm not entirely sure if this is going to be any better, but we're gonna give her a shot. We're gonna give her a test run. I am on my way to the gym again this morning! I'm going to a different gym today, so I think I'll be able to film, um, a little bit more of my workout. And by more, I mean film any workout at all since obviously yesterday oh god i wasn't able to film anything so i'm actually going to a different gym which i know feels really excessive to have two different gym memberships but all my friends have an la fitness membership so when i want to go with them i have to use this membership when i was paying for like private personal training slash boxing um, training, it was so dumb expensive that this ends up being substantially cheaper anyways, and then gives me lots of flexibility in terms of which gym I wanna go to. Heading over to the gym now, and then it's about to start getting sunny, I think, and I want to read my new little book that I got at Target on Friday, sit in the backyard and soak up the sun. That's my plan for the day. Um, this has been an excellent weekend. I feel like I entirely forgot to do a Coachella FOMO check-in yesterday, um, but today how I'm feeling is I really only get FOMO when I see everyone putting on really cute outfits, doing fun hair and the makeup. I said that earlier, um, but then I see stories where you get like a glimpse of reality. Like I saw Tana post to be like, just cried for two hours trying to find like my car to get home. And like, that's the real part of Coachella right there. So I don't miss that. And I don't miss knowing that I would 100% get sick afterwards. I also miss how much fun content you can make at Coachella. I know it's more like work oriented and like content creator, but I have been eating up the Coachella TikToks and I definitely miss making Coachella TikTok content as well. But otherwise, feeling good about my decision. Also, obviously my ex-boyfriend was the main title fight of the creator clash fight against iDubs and he did a great job and absolutely deserved to win. Um, okay, almost to the gym. I will see you guys there. I need to go up the break. Beach. Do it. Oh, you literally have like three more in you. Yeah, probably. Oh my god, let's do it. No. No. What do you mean? <laughs> They're gonna be like, why is this gonna be the first one to be the two? Shut the fuck up, Jack. <laughs> Welcome to Backyard Cella! Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Workout was super. The workout was super fun. I was not in the mood to work hard, but I showed up and that's what counts. The weather is genuinely so perfect. And I know in like a month from now, it's gonna be absolutely scorching and I will be missing this weather so much because this is literally perfect. It's like 70 degrees and I'm kind of roasting, honestly. I think that I'm gonna have to move into the shade almost immediately. I thought that I was gonna be like just roasting in the sun today because it was cool and breezy, but honestly, it's, it's really warm. Um, but wow, I've got my little book. I'm reading Maggie Moves On, and it had good reviews on Goodreads when I was in Target uh, looking at the options, but also I mostly bought it because there's an adorable dog on the front who I think is supposed to be a pit bull, which I love. Um, it's, a, it's a sus title. Maggie Moves On? Yeah, like from life, from her ex, from, from veganism? She's a YouTube star. Can't wait to dig into her next challenge. Arriving in Tiny Kinship, Idaho with only a cotton coffee maker. Maggie is prepared to restore a crumbling Victorian mansion in four months or less. Kind of sounds like my, my Maggie moves back. Maggie moves... Make, she takes steps back. Maggie m makes moves on her sexy handyman. 
oh. landscaper. So anyways, that's the plan for today. Um, I quite enjoy myself. Oh, we've got a Bubbies on the move. We've got a Bubbies on the move. We've got a two warm Bubbies on the move. He quickly has realized that it also is much warmer than we anticipated. I am so excited for the summer and for Diggy to have his first swimming lesson. I think that he will be a dog that will be absolutely required to have a life jacket on at all times. I just think that he's going to be a little less conscious of where the water is than Moose is because Moose would never fall in the pool. He hates water that much. I think he's less aware of where his feet are. I think he's less aware of his just like general surroundings yeah. as well. I totally agree. And um, but but Diggy is much less adverse to the water. So I think that there's a possibility that Diggy could be a pool pup. Because he also is just like obsessed with being Does he near us. Um, like swimming classes? I think so. Oh, Diggy would love swimming classes. Yeah, there's a bunch of like nine month old dogs and like babies. Yeah. Out and then no, Bowie, Bowie, Zach and Maggie took Bowie for swimming lessons not that not long seven. ago. And that was not when he was a puppy. He's not seven. And he's, no, he's not seven. But he would have been like four or so. Diggy's about to be eight. Diggy's not, yeah, but Diggy. I like your argument that he's not going to be eight. <laughs> Diggy is going to be eight, and that is just a fact. Did you show the vlog your butt cheeks? I didn't show the vlog my butt cheeks, but they I do great. have a really cute one piece on, which I don't typically wear. I'm typically a one piece girly, but like today, I don't know, it just like felt cute. <laughs> <laughs> How'd I do? Uh, you nailed it, baby. You nailed it. You nailed it. Okay. Um, but I, again, I didn't realize it was as warm as it was, so I am either going to have to put not as like weirdly strappy uh, swimsuit on because I would get some whack ass tan lines um, or move to the shade, which I think is gonna be the latter. So anyways, I can't wait for Diggy to be a pool pup. I think that he will be comfortable on a floaty as long as he's near us. Yeah. I think it's gonna be great. I'm no, so I excited. Don't think I, I don't he'll know. Be, I'll be, he'll be, he'll wanna be exactly where he's not. I don't know. I think it's gonna be great. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Um, I think a couple more weeks and we're gonna have like some get in the pool weather and I cannot wait. And finishing off the Sunday with some Japanese food. Um, I got a shrimp tempura roll. What, what is this? This looks delicious. Uh, little crab, hand roll. Little, crab. Little, little, crab, yeah. little crab hand roll. Yeah. Um, we've got rice, we've got miso soup. Jeremy's got that actually, it's, uh, see like this is what I mean. Like that looks so appetizing and I wish that I liked salmon but I just can't get on board with the taste. I want to like it so bad and I try like every six months to see if my palate has changed and um, so far no luck. And then I've got some crispy Brussels sprouts and that is the end of the no cello weekend. The boys look so cute right now. <laughs> we just went on a little WALK and it was a beautiful temperature and they're so good and so cute. I just like walking side by side now, it's out of control. Hi Diggo, hi Bubber. <laughs> hi. You know what, there's no puppies at Coachella and that's why no, you know what? No, we we both decided that we had we had FOMO and we'll probably go next year. Oh, I'm dying. Yeah, <laughs> but there are no puppies at Coachella. <laughs> no, wait, 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 puppies, wait, wait. We didn't finish this segment. Also, Coachella Fit 2023. 20, the Target blanket that we got for you. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, it's adorable. Oh, it's adorable. Do you think I still have a stuff on? Yeah, do you have a coat on? Yeah. Oh, that's so nice. That's so, oh, he loves it. He loves it. He loves it. He's already cuddling it. I think it was like Louis the Doberman or something that has the big collection. Oh, Bubbies, that is fucking adorable. Oh, it's like having a stuffy and a blanket all in one. Bubbies, that's so nice. So sweet. Um, okay, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Uh, that was my weekend. I feel like typically I don't vlog on me and I don't do much, um, which you got to see firsthand. Me truly not doing much. Um, but hope you enjoyed this vlog. 
but hope you hope you enjoyed hope you enjoyed this vlog my wedding planner sent a bunch of venue recommendations so that's how i'm gonna be spending my night um so excited to dive in um we've got the finale of the show the night agent and moose is going to continue bonding with his new dinosaur blanket hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and i will see you in the next one bye